Well, everyone, it seems like every single day that passes, there are more and more news cycles about the iPhone 14s and how sad I am about this specific lineup of devices. Now, this leak came out yesterday or the day before, stating that you know the standard, this coming from Mark Gurman, kind of reputable source, standard iPhone 14 to miss out on 48 megapixel camera and the Apple A16 chip. It could get satellite connectivity features that could launch this year. Now, that specific feature has been noted for so long now. I don't know if it'll happen i hope it does but the iphone 14 do you have to remember the iphone 14 base model is different than the iphone 14 pro model the pro model is supposed to be this really big upgrade i think all the models are supposed to have some sort of that whole punch pill design but when you look at the iphone 14 itself i'm actually kind of surprised that apple is taking this approach so i think there's a couple of things that apple could do whether they make the a16 chip or whatever or whether they give it the a16 chip more so i think people have to understand that whatever apple does whether they make the a16 and a16 pro they are going to make one of the biggest differences from the cheaper models to the more expensive models and this is going to be one of the craziest things we're ever going to see apple do in my opinion probably for the next few generations the iphone 14s when you look at you know the base models you know the iphone 14 and the iphone 14 max those aren't cheap iphones those are still relatively expensive if the iphone 14 is retailing for 799 and the iphone 14 max at 899 and if those are supposed to be i guess like the cheaper edition of those iPhones, those other iPhones, the Macs and the Pros are going up $100. And what are you getting for those extra $100? You know, I guess you're getting better cameras and better this and that. But the price tag of the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro, technically, if they were to stay the same, would be would be the closest price tags we've seen from any generation before and the fact that apple is kind of removing that specific price tag and the fact that apple is giving these iphones even less is very strange to me now let's say apple does end up keeping that a15 chip inside of that iphone 14 and they give the latest generation the a16 well what's going to happen to these software versions of the iphone 14 are they going to go ahead and give it you know the same amount as the iphone 13s if that's the case that's going to be kind of strange and then what happens with the next generation you know the iphone 15s is the iphone 15 only going to last as long as the iphone 14 pro then the iphone 15 pro is going to last longer than the iphone like it just gives so many weird things and almost kind of incentivizes not going up to any of the cheaper models and only going for the pro models and that's exactly what apple wants to happen they don't want you to really buy the iphone 14 they want you to buy that iphone 14 pro and that's why they're giving the pro models all these extra cool features we should have probably saw this coming with promotion you know coming on these iphones right now and i think apple knows that just the camera upgrades and just the camera improvements for the pro models isn't really worth the upgrade anymore people are kind of not really i guess upgrading because of the cameras anymore so now apple needs a couple of other things they tried it with the ram and they tried it now with you know the cameras and they've been trying it even with the 7 plus but now it looks like apple's switching it up a little bit and i'm curious to see what apple's going to be doing with the next several generations of these iphones I'd love to hear your opinion on this, so let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.